Each day, I watch my sister open the same bathroom drawer. Her hand curls around the knob. She pulls like she's opening up a safe full of diamonds. She takes her colorful Clinique makeup bag, her crystal prize, and sets it in the same corner where it has rested each morning for years. And I watch her. Pajamas, bed head and all, I am eight years old. And I watch as my sister turns into an artist. She begins painting her face. The mascara fits perfectly between her cherry fingertips, and her eyelashes seem to grow faster than the grapevines outside our house. She frames her eyes in black liquid and mixes potions and powders until her eyelids are the perfect shade of confidence. Her lipstick has found a home in her hand, and her lips, they turn into a rose blossom. I watch as she picks up the foundation. She holds it like gold, paints it on with a certain hope in her eyes, like maybe this, this can solve all of my problems. She covers every blemish, every scar. She erases any imperfections, as if taking away her individuality will make her one step closer to Barbie because that is what she has been taught at Disney World when she was seven years old and they handed her a wand instead of a sword, instead of letting her choose just because she was a girl. Because as a girl, we have been taught to want to be a princess, always, always looking to a man to be our hero. But some of us just want to reach for the sword and save ourselves. But when she's done putting on her makeup, she glows like a candle on a night where all hope has been absorbed by darkness and I can't help but think. Beautiful. I wish I could be that beautiful someday. When she leaves the bathroom, I run upstairs, eager to paint my own face. I'm 12 years old. I try to hold the paintbrushes like she does. I try to use graceful strokes, but no matter what I do, the lipstick has not found a home in my hand yet, and the mascara still feels like a lie between my fingertips. But I keep trying. And when I'm done, while it look more like a flashlight, than a candle just temporarily burning, always looking for something more like batteries or highlights, something more because when I look at my reflection, I can't help but think I'm just not beautiful. And my dad, he tells me I look pretty, but the boys at school, well, they don't seem to think so, so I keep painting, I keep adding layers, trying to hide my imperfections, trying to change myself so that society will think I am beautiful too, but there is more to this package than I realize. I am 14. The calories in my mouth scare me more than the monsters in my head. The scale is my worst enemy, and the toilet my best friend, but water is the only thing I will eat or drink willingly. Anna has taken control of me. My fingers tease the back of my throat, but the media teases my mind. So I keep painting, I keep trying to redraw my body, hoping that if there's less of me to judge, there will be a greater chance of being deemed beautiful. I am 16 now still striving for society's approval. Each night, I take a washcloth and scrub my face raw. I watch as the makeup follows my confidence down the drain. My self-esteem now lower than the roots of the grapevines outside our house because I have been conditioned 
to seem natural as ugly and realistic as not good enough. I have been conditioned to look in the mirror and think, I just wish that I was beautiful.